Dejounte on him in the second half and kind of take him away from the hoop. How much does that hurt your guys' rebounding? Uh, if it did, we'd take the trade off, keep him from, you know, going off. But uh, like I said, the way he plays, again, he wasn't averaging ten coming in today. He had he was averaging twenty four, and yeah, he got thirty eight on us, so he exceeded his average. But uh, it was just difficult for us to contain him today as a team. And like I said, I, you know, me as head coach. We should have done some different things to uh, try to maybe get the ball out of his hand, which we did. Uh, but he somehow would that ball would he'd find a way to get it, find a way to get it again. When you had 37 threes, was that just a matter of playing catch up, or were you happy with the shot selection today? Uh, they kind of lull you to sleep in the way they play. I, we didn't force many threes; they were wide open threes, and uh, we weren't able to knock those down. It's hard to turn down those when you look, I think, three out of four or four out of five games, we've made 40% of our threes. Now, all of a sudden, we don't turn them down. Nope, I don't think so, you know. we, But they were. I don't think we were forcing those threes. They were open. 37 is a lot, though. But remember, I, we probably took eight or nine down the stretch when the game was out of hand. Can you address the rebounding real quick? Uh, we got our rebound. <laughs> I don't think there's one formula. Again, I, I want to go back and look at the film and just see how many of those rebounds they got offensively were as a result of the penetration there. And then we missed so many shots. Uh, now, now that is an area, Kim, where uh, foul trouble, getting down, whatever it was, I don't think we attacked the offensive boards as hard as we've been attacking them. Was that maybe because you had two guys two quick fouls? Could have been. I'm anxious to look at this film for, for those, some of those reasons. Anything else?